Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we are going to install a free product timer plugin for WooCommerce. This plugin will help you set up schedule for a particular product. Here is an example of the product. The regular price of this product is Rs. 250 and this is the sale price Rs. 200. So here what I have done, I have set a condition to show the Rs. 200 sale price daily after 12.58 pm. So every day after 12.58 pm, it will set the price of this product to Rs. 200 instead of Rs. 250. So there are many different actions that you can set for a particular date and particular time. You can make it out of stock for certain days. You can make it hidden. You can set to purchasable. Now here you can change the date. You can select multiple days or you can also select for a week, daily time range or weekly time range, monthly. So there are many actions that you can perform on a single product using this free product timer plugin for WooCommerce. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this website, we are using WooCommerce plugin. Now we are going to install a free product timer plugin for WooCommerce. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. And here search for product timer for WooCommerce. So this is the free plugin WPC product timer for WooCommerce. Click on install now. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin has been activated and here you will see that option WP Clever. And here is the product timer. Click on it. Now these are the settings of the global timer. Now here you will see different options that you can select for the product timer. Here, here you will see performance, stock, visibility, feature, purchasable price. You can change the regular price, sell price. So we will go through these settings one by one. Now let's go to products. We will change the settings of one of the products. Now here I'm going to open this product. Let's see how does this look. And this is a simple product and the price is 250 rupees. Now let's go to the edit product option and here you will see the option timer. Click on timer. You can set different actions according to the date and time. So here you will see the first option choose action. Click on it. So when you click on choose action, you will see different features or different actions that you can select. Now let's see. I want to set the sale price. I want to change the sale price of this product. Right now the price of the product is rupees 250 and I want to change the sale price, let's say 200 rupees. Okay, now when do you want to change sale price? So here you will see different options on the date. If you want to set it on a particular date, you can set the on the date and from here change the setting, let's say 23 November. So on the 23 November, the sale price of this product will change to 200 rupees automatically. Now let's see before date and time so if you can select date and time for this option let's say 23 23rd november and before 1252 the price will be set to rupees 200 now let's see we are going to see live example here okay, let's select every day so every day add time and for the time i'm going to select after so daily after time and you can see that the time is 12.52. So I'm going to set, let's say 12.55. Okay, so after 12.55 daily, the price here, you can click on save changes or save actions. And update. Go to timer again. Now here, this is the current time 12.55. And this is the actual price. And what we have done, we have set the sale price to rupees 200 after 12.55. So let me go here and let's wait. After 12.55, that means 12.56 onwards, the price of this product will change to rupees 200. 
all right so the current time is now 12:56 let me show you this is 12:55 let me refresh it and here you will see the time is 12:56 12:56 is the time now let me refresh this page and you will see the difference in the sale price so you can see that the price is now rupees 200 the current time is after 12:55 so this is how it will change the price, the sale price of this product automatically to rupees 200 after a certain time and every day. We have selected every day. Now here you can change the other options, all even dates, or you can say multiple dates. And here you can select the date on which you want to select, set that price range. When you select these dates, the price of this product will go to rupees 200 after 12.55 you can delete this also you do not need that time also so on these dates the price will go to rupees 200 now if you want to change daily time range you can set the daily time range weekly time range all even weeks all odd weeks so there are many options that you can choose from if you want to select on a particular date you can select that date and the price will change on that particular date here you will see this is the you can set the regular price also this is the set sale price you can also make it out of stock let me show you let's set it to out of stock on the date so i'm going to change this to let's say choose the time and i'm going to select the time here the current time is approximately 12.58 so I'm going to change after time let's say 12.58 save actions and update the product so do timer and you will see the current time is 12.58 and here what we have said is that the product should show out of stock after 1258 every day so this is what the condition we have applied here now let's see if that works on the actual product page let me refresh it and this is the current time 1259 so it should show the out of stock product let me refresh it now here you will see that the product shows out of stock so no one will be able to purchase this product because we have set the condition here to show it out of stock. So here you will see different options that you can set according to the date and time for that particular product. You can also show it hidden. You can make it visible. You can make it in stock, unpurchasable, enable sold individually. So there are many different actions that you can set for a particular product. Now, if you want to add another action, you can click on add action. However, this feature is only for the pro version of this plugin. So at a time, you can select only one action for a particular product. If you want to add more actions, you need to go for the premium version of this plugin. So this is how you can set the product timer for WooCommerce using a free plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.